international correspondent for the Catholic news site Crux, uh, based in the United States uh, and coming from New York to attend uh, the Pan-African Congress on Theology, Society, and Pastoral Life. I've had a, the privilege of, of traveling to Africa on several occasions, um, but for a long time, uh, actually, Bigger Memorial Seminary has just been burned into my mind because I've read so much about the, the growth that's happening here. Uh, and for me, I've equated uh, African Catholicism with that of growth and dynamism, uh, the fact uh, that there is sort of rapid growth uh, both here and the, that's being sent out to the world is something that I've sort of conceptualized. Uh, but here I've gotten to see it firsthand in action. Uh, but, you know, when I say that, I don't want to reduce it just to statistics. The fact that there are great numbers here of priests and vocations to religious life. Um, what has been uh, revolutionary about these few days here is to realize that it's a lived experience and it's not just something that can be reduced to numbers. Uh, I think for me one of the major lessons that I'll take back to the U.S. Uh, is, is that of hope. Uh, I think it's long been recognized uh, by the church from uh, Pope John Paul II, Benedict XVI, and now Pope Francis that the African continent is sort of a breeding ground and place of hope. Uh, but to me that's something that has been distant. Uh, and the beautiful thing about this Congress is that I've got to experience it firsthand. Uh, I think uh, from the first mass that I attended, uh, it was just sort of infused with joy and hope in a way that I think uh, so many American Catholics in particular could benefit from. Uh, it, it gives new, uh, new, a new sense of joy and hope in, in a way that I think uh, is very needed, particularly at this time, uh, both in our country and in our church.